Okay, I have a few questions for you. Tell me about your fox. My fox? My what? You know, mom, dad. No, my mom's not dead. Okay, mom, no, dead. Not your problem. Do you have a doctor? Do I have a doctor? Well, I think everybody has a doctor. No, not everybody has a doctor. Me, I would love to have a beautiful doctor, but I don't. But not your problem. And your ankles. Are your ankles fat? Are my ankles fat? Well, maybe just one ankle fat. Is one of my ankles fat? Not your problem. And what about your cuisine? My, my cuisine? No, no, I don't cook. But everybody has cuisine. Don't worry. Last one. You're nice? I'm nice. No, you're nice. No, I'm not nice. Don't worry. Oh, boy. Hello, 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 everybody. My name is Steve Ford. Welcome to your English lesson. Today, we're going to be talking about English pronunciation. Now, I have a question for you. And that's when you're speaking English sometimes, you feel like you have to reach for words. You're about to say some word and much like a video game, it's game over. So today I'm going to help you with words that we pronounce that are related to the family. And this might come as a surprise to a lot of you, something that maybe you didn't pay attention to. And we have this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and of course this one. So first two, we have dad, and then we have dead. Now I know those two, they sound very similar. And a lot of people, they mix them up. So I'm here to help you. We have dad and then dead. In case you want to see the IPA symbols, dad, dead. One more time, dad, dead. So this sound is much more open and it's also longer. It's a short A sound, dad. Compare that with dead. Close your mouth and it's much shorter, dead, dead. Can you hear the difference? So I'm going to say three words. You try to tell me which word is different. Is it one, two, or three? Dad, dead, dad. If you thought that the second one was different, I five, that is correct. Let's move on to the next set of words. Hey, everybody, are you enjoying this lesson? Please give it a like, subscribe, and share it with your friends so that you can help me on YouTube. Now we have uncle and ankle. Mm. So with uncle, that's like the past participle of sing, sung. It's like a U-N-G sound, Un uncle. Compare that with ankle, ankle. That's like the past of sing, sang and we say ankle. So I think those two words are easier to distinguish between. So let's play that game again. I'm going to give you three words and one of them is different. You tell me if it is one, two, or three. Uncle, ankle, uncle. If you thought that it was the second word, that is correct. We had two questions where the second word was the answer. I made this too easy. The next two are cousin and cuisine. We have cousin like that. That's a short U sound. K, K. And compare that to cuisine. Cuisine. So let's play that game once again. Cousin, cousin, cuisine. Which one do you think it is? And if you thought that the third one was different, high five, that's right. So cousin, cousin, cuisine. By the way, I give private lessons and you can contact me at the link below for your first free trial lesson. 
Well, I included this one. This is more for intermediate speakers is daughter and doctor. So there are a few things going on here that differentiate the two. First is that with daughter, although it's spelt with a T here, a T sound, we actually, in American English, we flap that T. Arr, we say daughter. Compare that to doctor, doctor. In this case, because the C precedes the T, there's no way around that T. We pronounce that T and we would say doctor. So because those are so easy to tell the difference, daughter and doctor, I'm not going to do that little test with you because I think it's too easy peasy. Now we have niece, nice. How do we pronounce these? Well, with niece, that's a long E sound, niece. Compare that to nice. So it's an ah, I sound, nice. Let's move on to the next one. Now, a lot of people will be surprised that in American English, standard American English, that this word and this word are pronounced the same way. So, ant, ant. There's no difference. And we like to make jokes about it. My ant, you know, is my ant an insect? Is my ant a human? But yeah, they have the same pronunciation. So, most people in North America will pronounce it this way. You will hear some people say aunt, but it's not that common in North America, but British people will pronounce aunt. Okay, so I'm going to play some example sentences which you can listen to and repeat to really train all of the pronunciation that I taught you here today. Well, let's go. My uncles are fat. My ankles are fat. It could be dad. It could be dead. I really like your cousin. I really like your cuisine. Do you have a daughter? Do you have a doctor? 